Um, just want to start off with a couple comments. Uh, really excited, uh, you know, to get our preseason done and start uh, on our in-season schedule. Um, really wanted to start with this. Uh, the very first thing I talked to this football team was I asked Kyle to give me some statistics. And I asked him what CSU's record was the last six games uh, the last five years. So the second half of the season. And of course, in 2021, it was 0-6. But overall, the last five years, CSU is 8-21 and in the last six games, 5-7 and in home games. So losing record at home, three and thirteen in road games versus ranked teams. They're zero and two. When leading at the half, the last six years in the second half of the season, they're seven and four. When tied at the half, they're zero and one. And when trailing at the half, they're one and sixteen. The last five years in the second half of the season. Just some other notes: trailed six games at half by two or more touchdowns. Three of the eight wins were against New Mexico. 0-5 versus Boise, 0-5, 0-4 versus Air Force. And, and I start that way, I started that way with our football team because obviously I was hired and our coaching staff and our current players have to ask the question, why? Why has this team not had more success, especially the second half of the season? Um, you know, football is about responding to adversity. It's about accountability. And we've always had teams that have improved and gotten better the more that they practice. So that's a goal that we have. But I wanted to start off with that because I think that's where we are. And Every, anywhere we go from here, we have to have a common understanding of how we do things and how we go about our business. And that's all we've been trying to do with this team the last few months is make them accountable, get them in great shape and in great condition, have them really understand how important it is to care about one another and to go out and give their best effort in all that they do. So. I think that's the floor that we start on right now. And I'm really, really excited about getting into our game week. You know, we're going to find out about our football team now as we start playing games. Um, you know, obviously, week one, uh, we, we're going to play an outstanding team uh, in Michigan. You know, they, they were the Big Ten champions a year ago, really outstanding in all three phases, you know, and, and uh, they're an established, strong football team on, under Jim Har Harbaugh in his seventh year there. Offensively, they're West Coast style. They average 35 points a game. Really strong offensive line. I think that's the strength of their offense. Really quality running back in Blake Corrin. Uh, solid quarterback play, quality wide receivers. Really, uh, really good offensive team. Uh, defensively, they gave up 17 points a game last year, which was outstanding. 4-2-5 scheme, really strong defensive line. Uh, and returning, you know, I think Mazzy Smith, 58, is just a tremendous player. Um, their linebacker, Junior Colson, 25, is excellent as well. And DJ Turner at corner, you know, some of their outstanding defensive players. You know, special teams uh, for this football team, I think, is is really one of their strongest assets as a team. They really have one of the finest special teams groups I've seen in <coughs> many years. Um, excellent punter, uh, fine kicker, really good return men in all three phases. Um, you know, they do an outstanding job of covering kicks and blocking on in the return game. Uh, you know, so overall, it's a really big challenge for us in our opening game. Um, you know, watching film of them, it's easy to see why they're a top 10 team. Um, I've known Jim Harbaugh for a long time, played against him in college and played with him with the Chicago Bears for a brief stint. 
and then coached with him uh, with the Oakland Raiders. And so I've known Jim a long time. Um, you know, this football team's a reflection of what he feels about the game. They're physical, they're well coached, and they have very good players. So really excited about the opportunity, the challenge to go to Ann Arbor and, and, uh, and start our, our 22 season. A lot of people made a big deal about going to Michigan and a lot of people on this team being young, a lot of key players being young. How do you make the big house not feel so big? Um, I just really think it's about us, to be honest with you. I'm really less worried about Michigan than I am just our own football team. And uh, for, for us, it's establishing how we like to play. Uh, we want to do things that help us win football games and establish that those things in this game. We want to play great physical defense. Um, we want to pressure the quarterback. Um, we want to create turnovers. And you know, offensively, we want to get all of our skilled players involved, protect the football, and, and be able to execute and move the football and, and get into the scoring zone and score points. So I think, I think it's more about establishing how we want to play and less about the magnitude of playing in you know a great stadium and against a top ten team and all those things. So, you know, we want a focused team that goes in and competes hard and uh, makes plays. And so, you know, that's kind of where we'll keep our focus on. You mentioned a little bit in the opener their special teams are really good. Do you expect your special teams can stand up to the challenge and, and actually can help make a difference in this game? Yeah, you know, that's a formula that we have to win. And so it's a big challenge for our special teams. I, I think their return men are, are outstanding. And um, they have excellent kickers and, and they play hard. You know, they cover hard on kicks. Um, you know, they, they do an outstanding job. So, you know, we, we want to be the type of team that can make a difference in teams that gain an edge in teams and that help us in field position offensively and defensively. So that's important that we that we really establish that this first game. And it's going to be important for us to play great in special teams in this game. I think uh, before the first practice of camp, you were saying you, know, you didn't sleep at all, you're excited. What's it like for you now, you know, heading into game week, and especially starting you know, a new program? I actually slept great last <laughs> night, to be honest. I, I came to work commenting on it. Um, no, I, I think. I think uneasiness comes when you have a lot to do. And obviously, we, we have a lot to do. Um, but I feel so much better having installed you know, our schemes offensively and defensively, getting through training camp. And it's exciting to prepare for a football game. Uh, it really is. All the, all the hard work that you put in all year kind of culminates. And you know when you're putting a game plan together and, and you're polishing it up and you see the kids start to, to run it and start to really understand why you're doing it. It's exciting. And so uh, I slept great last night. Um, you know, I think the most important thing for all of us, and we told our kids this, is that you want to be able to look yourself in the mirror and, and have no regrets. You know, you want to prepare as well as you can. You want to practice as hard as you can. And then you go compete with everything you got. And when the game's over, it's over. There's really nothing you can do about it. And so, um, you know, I'm, I have great confidence in our coaches and our players. And, you know, we're preparing them, you know, to play their very best. Obviously, you know, registering last year and then the limited COVID senior year for Clay, it's been quite a while since he's, you know, had a, a true starting game week. I know it's just Monday, but what's kind of the vibe you're getting from him? As Clay's, Clay's great. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, we had a we had Carson for so long as a starter, and it's just interesting. You know, the personality of the guy when you're with him every day in meetings and on the field, and you see all his quirky, you know, just little mannerisms and things that he's thinking about. Um, you know, it's great. It's great to see. You know, he's been through a lot uh, in this last two years, um, and just his experiences being around Carson have helped him. But he's really taken it and put his own stamp on it. Um, you know, we try to teach these guys our schemes. And then after a while, there's a little creativity. And they kind of spin them on their own. And, and he's starting to do that. Um, 
you know, and, and he's at the point now where he, where he needs those, that game experience with his playmakers where he can really learn from it, you know, and, and he'll learn from every opportunity he gets. Uh, but he's, he's really prepared well. Uh, you know, I, you know, the quarterback room is right next to me. So I, there's a reason for that. So I can see who's in there watching film and studying. Clay's in there all the time. He, he really is putting his time in and preparing. And, um, you know, I'm anxious to see him play. Tommy Perry, is, it's rarity in this game to have a dedicated special teams coach. What impact have you seen him have so far in teaching and then polishing what you, know, you want to do? Tom, Tom, Tommy has got great experience. Um, you know, he's played in a lot of big games like this, you know, uh, and, and, and his special teams have made a difference. You know, he was at UTSA and helped them win a championship last year in their league. Um, I just love Tommy's passion. Um, you know, he's been at Alabama. He's been with Saban. He's got a lot of great experience. Um, it happens to be his birthday today. And so we all wished him a happy birthday. But Tommy, he's just a unique individual. He loves special teams. He's got a passion for it. Um, he's got a lot of unique schemes that we, that have helped us win games uh, over the years. And, and so uh, our kids are buying into that. Um, we're going to play our best players on special teams. You know, we, we told our coaches that if a guy needs a rest, he's going to get a rest on offense and defense. But special teams are important, and we, wanna, we want our best players on there. So um, really excited to see our kids play and the teams. And, you know, we, we have a saying, every time that horn blows for special teams meeting, it's got to mean something to you, you know. And, and it's important to, to have your players understand how important those, those meetings and those periods are. Um, you know, I'm involved in all of them. I want them to understand the importance of it. And, and Tommy just does an amazing job, just great passion and energy, and uh, it's rubbing off on our kids. Everybody's talking about Clay. It's his first start. But his blind side is going to be protected by somebody making his first start. Patty's making his first start. This, this is a big game for a lot of people to kind of get yeah. themselves established, is it not? No doubt. We, we have a lot of guys. You know, Jacob Gardner's playing center for the first time. Um, yeah, we got a lot of young players. We have 59 uh, new players on this team. You know, basically, you know, the whole offense is new. Uh, we got a couple guys on defense that have played. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely it's a new football team. And, uh, you know, I think uh, this, the attitude of this team is going to be very important. You know, uh, you know, and we've challenged them with that every day. Uh, our leadership. Uh, needs to understand that if we want to be different, then we, we've got to do things differently and look at things differently. And, and uh, you know, we've, we've had a great camp that way. You know, uh, you know winners, winners do what needs to be done when it needs to be done, and they care about each other. And, you know, and those kids are doing that right now, and I'm proud of them for it. And um, we got to continue to do it every day. And, uh, you know, we're going to be challenged as the season, you know, goes through. Uh, we're we're going to have our ups and downs. And how we handle those is going to determine what kind of year we have. Like you told your team, you started out, this is our floor. You brought up how not good the record's been the last yeah. few years in the second half. Do you tie that in with it? You're new. This, this is your time to change that. Well, we have an opportunity. I mean, I think that's the – that's the special thing about what we do, right? In football, we get a brand new year, the slate's wiped clean. So what we do and the choices we make every day are going to determine our success. And, you know, and this, this game doesn't, it's challenging. It, it doesn't, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, you have to find your way through the problems and the issues. And, and um, you know, we, we have the experience uh, of being in tough situations. Um, and we understand that it, the storm is coming. And so how we handle that is important. And we've talked a lot about that as a team. Uh, you know, most teams, you have three major events during a year of adversity that you got to withstand. And, and so, um, you know, we're preparing for that. You know, and this team hasn't handled that well in the past, um, you know. A lot of injuries, a lot of guys that have missed games and practices. You know, your attitude's got to 
overcome those types of things and it's got to put you back on course and your leadership has got to model the right behavior so you know we 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 have found out as much about this team that we can without playing games and now we got to go play and and we got to we got to find out how people are going to react in adverse situations and you know we got to learn from the things that happened to us over along the way Well, Drew, Drew is, you know, he's really done a great job uh, doing the things that he's asked to do. You know, uh, linebackers in the area of need for us, we're, we're not very deep there, and um, we need to be more athletic there. So it's an opportunity for Drew to show what he can do. He runs very well. He's very accountable. And, um, you know, and, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to watch him play this fall. And uh, he's certainly a guy that um, has made the most out of his opportunities so far. And, and now, you know, we're going to need him to, to play solid football for us going into the season. So we're excited about Drew. Um, you know, I think we have a lot of opportunistic guys on defense that have a chance to take advantage of, of their opportunity to play. And Drew's certainly one of those guys. Yes. Thanks, Coach. Thank, yeah, you. thank you, guys. Been resurrected by our players as well. You know, everyone's jumped on board and, and they're giving it their all. Every meeting, they're taking notes. Every period, they're giving absolutely 100%. So, yeah, it's been a huge impact. Have you guys already talked about how you kind of need to? Ha it would be important for you guys to have an impact on this game. Absolutely. You know, full respect to Michigan special teams. They've been very successful the past few years. So, we have a, a huge job to do. And you know, I believe our guys are up to the challenge because I think we have a really good group and. Really going to be a good show for where as a team. Daquan, we talked a little bit last week, you know, heading into the season, but now you're, you know, finally here, game week, your last season. Just kind of, what, what are you feeling right now? What, what does this, you know, game, the opener, mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me, uh, not just because of me, but just because of the guys I'm going into battle with. Uh, I've been, we've been working, like I, we talked about last week. We've been working hard since, you know, January, and uh, it, it's not a, a short road. Um, that's a journey. We went through winter workouts, we went through spring ball, came back this summer. We, you know, just completed fall camp. So, um, just being able to bond with those guys, like it's a different feeling going into the season. And then just personally, you know, it's my last ride. But, you know, I'm trying not to let you know that affect me um, at all. Uh, I really want to focus on going out there and performing well and being the leader that the team needs me to be and, and making plays. And uh, I know I can do it. So. Um, I've been focusing on preparing. I'm, I'm excited. You've obviously played in you know several of these kind of big stadiums, oh, yeah. big atmospheres. You talked to any of the younger guys about you know how to I guess handle the, the emotion of all of it. 
Uh, most definitely. Um, I remember my freshman year going into the swamp, and uh, I feel like I haven't really played in a game that pressure pressuring like to me. But um, since then, and I've been telling the guys like, like yeah, Michigan's earned the respect. You know, like they're, they're Michigan, but we're Colorado State. And, you know, like you focus on us and we execute what we're supposed to do. We'll be in the game. It's not. It's not one of those things where, you know, I feel like we going in and we just don't have a shot. Like. We're not looking at it like that. We've prepared, they prepared, and we're gonna strap up and we're gonna, we're gonna see which team comes out victorious. But uh, I just been preaching to the young guys: don't don't go in there wide, uh, you know, go in there focusing on what you need to do, your job. And at the end of the game, I think they'll I think um, they'll feel exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you you always have a shot when you go in there and you focus on the right thing. So um, obviously, they probably still be anxious, especially some of the young guys who haven't played in a game yet. Period. But um, I think. The team has has realized we've made it an emphasis that, you know, you know, congratulations to Michigan for what they accomplished last year. But this is a new season, and we're gonna go in there. We're gonna play CSU football. Coach talked about how you presented to the team, um, you know, the lack of success the last five years, the last half of the year, and that's kind of your guys' floor that you start with. As you, as a returner, how did you take that? How did you use that as maybe an inspirational point to move forward with everything that's new? Yeah, the past is the past. That's what we was. Um, we got to start with what we are. So um, as of right now, that's what that's what we were. That's what we are. But I mean, it's a great opportunity to go out there and to, pr to prove, you know, all the work we put in, and to you know come out and have a whole different result. So um, I don't really linger on all that stuff. I mean, I've had, you know, these past seasons. I've been here. I've been through it all. I've been through the changes. I've been through all the things that we speak about. But I'm bought into the new system. I'm bought into the new culture. And um, I think that's going to be the best thing going forward. Patty, uh, he's been a captain for three years. You get named a captain. You've been in the country for 13 months. What did that mean to you to earn that honor? Yeah, it was, it was a great honor. Um, you know, as previously mentioned, when I came to the program in January, you know, I met the likes of, of D Jack and Nay John and, and came over with Jacob. And you know, those guys, Welcomed me with open arms and showed me the way. You know, I was, I was lucky enough to actually share a small locker room with D Jack in that, that first winter workouts, and you know, he sort of showed me the Colorado State way. And that's something I took upon myself to to show the freshmen and, and the new transfers in the spring to, to do the same. So, you know, that was just the standard here. Nothing nothing changed with me. I wanted to, to step out of my comfort zone and be that leader. And when I got here, that was that was the standard. So. Feel like y'all got everything out of out of camp that you wanted leading into this first game. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, we've we've learned a lot, uh, like touching on before, how how much of an emphasis on special teams Coach Novell and Coach Perry put into this team. You know, I think there's always room for improvement, no matter how how much we put in. But I think at the level we are right now, I'm really happy with where we are, and you know, throughout the season, I think we can keep building as well. Patty, you're one of the players that's going to make his first cleave start. A lot of people are talking about Clay, but you too. What what are the emotions like for you now you've gotten to this point that you, you wanted to get to? Exciting, absolutely. You know, first game, treat it like a like a Super Bowl in, in a sense, as, as I've been told by a few of my mates. Um, very excited. You know, it's it's such a, a great place in college football to start at as well in, in Michigan. And as DJ said, respect to them. They've earned, earned the right to be a big name in in, uh, in football itself. So. Yeah, very excited and, and you know, very privileged to be able to, to do that. Is it easier said than done to make it just a game and not the game? Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, they've earned the right to, to be a big name. And, yeah, it's uh, more comes back to us of, of what we want to focus on. And, you know, we can be like a deer in headlights and, and focus on the crowd and focus on the noise. But, you know, I think we're strong enough to, to be within ourselves and, and play our game and, you know, represent Colorado State with pride. Just anything? Um, I think he just completely bought in. I mean, a full commitment from him. Being a young guy who um, didn't really see the field much last year, um, he transitioned well. Um, I, I watched him from the winter workouts to the spring and, you know, all those things. And I think the biggest thing for him, he, he's focused on everything the coaches told us to focus on. And 
he's took advantage of like the the fundamental time and then put in the extra time to study. So um, I think he's an he's an athlete. He can move around and um, just when you add that that mental portion of it, um, it put anybody in position to play. So um, kudos to him for taking um, full responsibility and, and taking on that that challenge and coming out on top. Um, I think one of the best things about, you know, whether he, he's out there or anybody's out there, since we got a nice rotation at linebacker, um, is that everybody is bought in and everybody's communicating, and there's no drop off when the next guy comes in the game. So um, I'm excited to go out there and roll out with Kulik, and um, I know Cam will be rolling in there. So just the guys that I've been, you know, playing with, and um, I think I think for Kulik, the biggest thing for him will be. Um, being a young guy is focusing. The, those same questions we just asked about first start, you know, playing against Michigan, you know, can he can he put the crowd away? And that's one of the main the main guys I focus on talking to about that. So um, I'm excited for Kulik, um, and I think as a linebacker, Cole, we'll do great this um, game.